How's it going, YouTube? <clears throat> and welcome to some Saints Row. So, uh, first of all, I've got to disclose a big thank you to uh, Deep Silver for providing me with a key to Saints Row. Um, it is for the uh, the Heist and Hazardous DLC, the campaign DLC. Now, I haven't actually got there. Um, I was having quite a lot of issues actually getting the game to run on my uh, system. No idea why. Um, it's been running absolutely fine on other systems when I've asked around, but no, I've, I've had issues up until recently. So, um, I've literally only put about an hour or two into the game so far. Um, I just want to give my overall first impressions of the game in general, seeing I, I haven't had enough time to actually get to the DLC areas, and I thought it was about time I post a video on it before I get bogged down in other videos also. So, um, what I think of the game so far, so... At best, I believe it is a, a semi-fun experience when you come into uh, playing the game in general. So, uh, driving around, you know, doing doing things like quite similar to uh, Grand Theft Auto in that sense. Um, it is very much... I mean, I've played Saints Row in the past, so um, I kind of know what I'm expecting. It is more of a fun, like, GTA-style game. Um, more chaos, more... Uh, arcadiness, comedy, you know, that sort of thing as well, where GTA is more on the serious comedy level, um, as well as, you know, uh, divulging in life's, you know, what can I say? Choices, I suppose. Um, so Saints Row, pretty, pretty good looking game, I'm not going to lie to you guys, a pretty good looking game indeed. Um, it seems to be set in some sort of like... Uh, Las Vegas area. Let's have a look at the map quickly if I can. I think I might bring up my phone here. So let's have a look. So have a look at the map. So we're actually in East Providence. What is the continent called? Uh, like I said, I've only been playing for about two hours now and I thought it would be a good time to start a review on it. So it's quite a big map, to be honest. Uh, where are we to at the moment? So that's my line. So we're in East Providence. So this is where we're currently based. Uh, by the way, at the start of the game, you seem to have like, you know, life set for yourself. Uh, your gang's doing well, the Saints, and uh, all of a sudden you wake up and you're in some sort of like paramilitary group, PMC group, and you're on a mission. <laughs> so I am very confused with the story at the moment. Um, I seem to have maybe backtracking in timeline to when you first start out. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if you guys know even more details on the story, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is a just a quick and compulsive review, really, more than anything, so I can get the video out for Deep Silver. Um, we're going to carry on to the mission whilst I ca carry on talking. Um, okay, so but it's telling me to turn around now. Right, okay, never mind. It's telling me to go this way. So the gunplay at times is great. Mouse input feels way off. I don't know what it is, but when you aim with a mouse, it almost feels like it's got like some sort of tick to it. Like when you're when you're aiming, um, it's almost like if you're pushing a key. So if you're in other FPS shooters, you can aim with your mouse. Um, you can also aim with the uh, the arrow keys or the number pad keys. And that's what it feels like from time to time. Like, if I jump out the car now, let's see if I can jump out now and have a look. Um, if I start aiming, it's almost like it's ticking when, when, you, when you are aiming. It's not smooth as it could be. And you can see it's kind of like juddering when I'm aiming down and up. There you go. I've literally, I'm pulling down the mouse. And it's just, it's, it's like, almost like it's freezing on mouse down. So, um, yeah. Very... Very strange mouse input for aiming. I don't know if that is the bug. And also, if you've seen in the thumbnail as well, um, there was also another bug where if I matched my hair to the uh, the sky at the right moment, uh, my hair becomes literally invisible. And you can see everything in the background. So, a few bugs to be seen first. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the mission. We're going to carry on. We're just going to commentate over what I'm doing here. Um, and I'll give you impressions along on the way as well. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Pantera? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. I don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. You want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. 
You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. So you can see it's got more of a comedic uh, value to the game instead of a uh, more serious outlook on it. Graphical glitch right there. So I'm just I'm picking things out now. I'm literally picking things out. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, okay, so we've got some big boy with a big old munch. Oh, okay, Sergio. Okay, so this is the uh, the guy was talking about. He's got a big old monster monster truck by the looks of things. Uh, and looks like we switched cars. So no longer on my nice sports car. I'm going to be driving a Marshall car, and I have zero control over it. By the way, there we go. Right. Okay. So graphically, game is pretty well. Well, you know, pr pretty 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 looking. For, for, you know, graphics in general. Um, like I said, I haven't explored pretty much any of the game. This is my first two hours, so... However, I actually don't have any control. I can just push accelerate and that's it. I'm not actually turning the car in any way, so... Um, yeah. Do I have control yet? I don't have any control yet, so... I assume I'm going to have a firefight here? Of course I am. And and I've switched clothes apparently. Okay. Okay, so there's also aim snap as well. So it's kind of like aim assist for uh, for PC, which I'm not a fan of. But I, I assume you can turn it off. If not, then it is a unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. So also guys, by the way, if you enjoy the content I put out, uh, mainly on other games like Silica and RTS games, and also I will be covering more Deep Silver games and, and also Ubisoft titles on my YouTube channel and over on Twitch. Um, if you do enjoy the content, please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Saints Row? You know, have you played it? Do you enjoy it? Um, I am having a few issues at the moment, unfortunately, with it, and I will be completely clean with it. Um, with the aim feel, the mouse input, uh, that type of thing. I assume I get on the turret. No, no, I don't. I shoot this guy instead. I'm just going to go for the driver. Well, I imagine you can use a turret instead. It's probably what I was meant to do anyway. Yeah, it is. It is pretty much what I was meant to do. Jump to Pentos's car. Right, okay, so we're getting out. I'm pressing E, and I cannot get out. So, <laughs> I literally can't get out of the turret, man. Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I cannot do anything. I am stuck in a limbo attached to a turret. So, um, I probably end up going to die now because of uh, the fact I cannot leave. Um, great start. Awesome, amazing start. I'm going to bring up the map, see if it's on my end. It is definitely not on my end. Like I said, guys, I was having issues playing the game to start with, um, which was very unfortunate. I've, I haven't had long with the game itself. I don't know if there's anything I'm doing wrong or if it's just the game in general. Um... And also, guys, if you've seen my deep silver stuff before, I've also put up uh, some content for Dead Island 2. A pretty, pretty sick game, I'm not going to lie. It is it's a pretty good game. Definitely check out the episodes I've put out. I am planning to play more. I just realized when I'm moving this turret, it's wobbling. Uh, almost, like a, almost like a bit of jelly. But no, I cannot leave this turret. So I'm actually stuck in limbo here on this uh, mission. So uh, th this is probably going to be a mission failure. Um... Unfortunately, I don't know if I, I can even press uh, escape. I'm literally locked. I'm literally really locked into this. Um, let's see if I can do anything here. 
skills. Yeah. Nope. I can't do anything else. I am totally locked in place on this turret. Um, this could end the mission if I kill this car. I'll give it a go. Yeah, no. They're, they're fully invincible. So, guys, while I'm here shooting this uh, shooting this car, um, what do I think of Saints Row? So, from what I've played, where it's been relatively bug-free, I've uh, enjoyed it quite rapidly. Um, the mouse input is desired. Unfortunately, it's, it's, it's not as good as it could be. Um, the aim assist, I, tell you, I can even go into the options to tell you if the aim assist can be turned off. I don't know if aim assist can be turned off. Um, it kind of puts me off being a PC player, but I understand why it's there for the console, guys. Um... Graphics seem to be relatively good. Um, that truck is on fire. Um, and what I've seen so far, I've driven around on the city as well before I went uh, before I went and started recording this video. Um, I was quite impressed with how big the cities are, and uh, driving in general is actually quite fun as well. You have systems where you can actually T-bone uh, other cars, so, like pursuit chases and stuff. And, you know, you get points for drifting and all that sort of thing, kind of like f what Forza offers when you when you like do drifting and driving through traffic, near misses and all that. So it has that kind of system as well. So driving cars is relatively easy and fun. Uh, the gunplay as well. I haven't really gone into having a look at other weapons. I know I had the DL DLC weapons, the DLC vehicles. I was going to show you guys them, but unfortunately, I cannot leave um, the the turrets. <laughs> um, and also, as you know, guys, I do just put out raw footage. I don't edit these, so I kind of speak my mind and tell you what you know, what I don't like and what I do like. Um, but yeah, hopefully, this glimpse of the game will either kind of tell you if to buy it or um, if you have already played it, um, what you think of the game. But if you don't want to buy it, then it's entirely up to you. I mean, um, will I continue playing this game? To be honest with you, I might continue giving it a go. I won't be making any more content for it, unfortunately. Um, it is just not down my street. Um, it took me a while to get the game fired up to start with. And also, uh, when, I've, when I've been playing for the last two hours, it's, it's the kind of game I'd like to enjoy off like off recording and stuff like this. Because if I get things like this, then I can just kind of ignore it. Oh, F4, then go back to the game. But, um, you know, I've got to be totally, uh, totally honest and 100% uh, transparent with you guys. Um... Yeah, it's, it's down to personal preference. If you like GTA style games um, and you want something to fill the gap between GTA 5, GTA 6, and you like Saints Row and you like the whole gang war system, then I would suggest getting a uh, Saints Row. But if you're not into that sort of thing, then oh, well, obviously you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't pick it up. So guys, without further ado, I will leave you here while I'm stuck on the turret. And um, if you get to the end of the video, please uh, let me know what you think of me forever being stuck with this turret. And uh, until this day, I will always be stuck with this turret. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Peace out.